Life was very easy for a dog like me. Blissful, in fact. I lived in the countryside and looked after the house. Just me and him. I wasn't a lazy dog. I'd keep the squirrels away, shout back at the noises from the road, retrieve the ball and even go with him every day on adventures. These were my responsibilities, necessary for the preservation of my property. I thought very highly of myself then. I looked after the man well and life was perfect. I wouldn't have changed a thing. That's why I was so upset when it happened. A new dog entered the picture. My picture. He was boisterous and immature. Like... Like a little monster, spiralling out of control. Hey, I thought you loved me, not him. I always used to say. And he wouldn't leave me alone either. Always nagging at me and busybodying around. For days on end, I tried to comprehend how life had gone from heaven to sheer disaster. I could see there was no going back. Did I possess the maturity to stand in acceptance and try to get along with this mad pooch? I wasn't sure at the time. The road ahead looked very, very uncertain. Thankfully, life moved on and things between him and I soon changed for the better. He started asking me all sorts of questions and I naturally took the position of leader in our relationship, helping him correct some unacceptable behaviour. My jobs became easier too. He would stand by my side with loyalty as I kept the house in order. We became a team, a pack, like those ones you hear of out in the wild. At night, we'd have long talks about all sorts of topics. We'd share funny stories and our subjective outlook on the world. Although I'd share my secrets with him, I'd always hold a brave face. I was responsible for him, you see. I was the leader in our relationship, and I wanted him to trust me. Then came the day, the day I lost it. We were exercising out in the back. He was doing great, and I was proud. That's when it started. A deep, forceful rumbling noise was approaching on the other side of the house. I'd heard sounds like this before, but this one spooked me. I felt like I needed to stop it, to chase it, so I did. And the man had left the gate open. I couldn't stop. I ran out barking, and before I knew it, he followed me. And that's when it hit him, hard. Everything stopped, except a feeling of guilt crawled right up from the end of my tail. I let him down that day, and I'm lying here on my own now. If I'd just been more careful, more responsible, he wouldn't have followed me out of the gate that day. We'd be out in the fields walking together with the man, as a team, as a pack. I just wish I could tell him that he was my best friend. Hold on a sec, I think the man's back. Oh, you're alive! Thank goodness! (laughs) I thought I'd never see you again. Oh, I missed you. I missed you so much. Weeks went by, and there wasn't a day where I stopped taking my responsibility seriously. I had my best friend back, and I wasn't going to lose him ever again.